Yes, my name is Jim Yarwood. I live at 247 Knoll Street. I'm in the section. All right. Uh, the reason I stopped by this evening is uh, I'm a landlord in town. I'm also the president of the Landlord Association here in town. And there has been kind of a perception, I think, either fairly or unfairly, that uh, landlords may be part of the problem when we we're having tenants in this city. Uh, one of the things that uh, came to light is that when tenants um, trash a property or, or refuse to have it picked up, what happens is rather than the tenant be cited for that situation, the landlord is cited for it, which puts the onus on us to remove the trash from that location. Um, what is actually occurring here is the tenant gets a free pass. There's no reason for them to, to not do that. The other situation is landlords are not willing to call the city when they've got a problem tenant because they know that it's just going to bounce back on them. So they resolve the situation in other ways. What I would suggest is that the city, rather than citing the landlord, um, go after the tenant. And if there's a situation where they don't know who the tenant is, to contact the landlord and get that information. Because it's the landlord will always know who that tenant is. The city may not. Uh, we as landlords certainly want to cooperate with the city to make this happen. You know, we're in a business where we make our living dealing with tenants. And if we've got problems, it costs us money, it costs the city money. Uh, we don't want that issue any more than the city does. Uh, the other situation is that We've discovered that there are certain tenants, and most people know who, or let me retract. There are certain tenants that bounce around from property to property within the city, um, essentially renting from unsuspecting landlords, and then they turn into a problem to file. What I would propose is that somehow the tenants, or I'm sorry, the landlords in the city be privy to the eviction list of bad tenants. That is not a list that we have at this point. Typically, we can do credit and background checks, but again, we're not privy to the eviction list, which is what we're really interested in. Uh, credit and background will give us some information. Uh, again, as President of the Landlords Association, I have a lot more access than most landlords do because typically most landlords are small operations, two or three rentals, so they're not uh, allowed to run credit checks and again are not in a situation where they are sophisticated enough to really be able to weed out the good ones from the bad ones. That eviction list, if we can have that, we can start taking these people who are chronic problems and simply refusing to rent it. And once they don't have a place to live, they don't live here. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, um, i can try to get you some answers. Are, are you done with your presentation? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, Mr. Yarrow, what I just want to say this is a, uh, a very good landlord of the city, so I applaud you coming here this evening. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to uh, acknowledge that the mayor has asked uh, myself Mr. McLaughlin and Mr. Simonson to uh, take a look at Chapter 7, which is our landlord our building code. And we have, over the last uh, maybe 60 days or so, we've been a comprehensive review of the entire code uh, for this reason. Uh, typically, it is the responsibility of the property owner to uh, address litter or, or cleanup issues. But the relationship between the landlord and the tenant in the city is something we want to address. So what we have done is we have uh, tried to streamline things in Chapter 7, everything from the, the landlord ordinance, as we call it, to the, to the vacant registration ordinance. Uh, and we're going to uh, hopefully have that rolled out very shortly, uh, sometime in June, for council's review. And uh, you're coming at a good time because we will look at that as part of our comprehensive review. Uh, in terms of releasing information uh, regarding evictions, uh, that's something I'm going to look into legally as to, I don't want to have to get into any privacy issues or uh, unfair discriminatory issues at this time, but uh, I will look into that and get back to you with that. 
Um, but uh, expect in the next 15 days or so to have a public copy of the uh, uh, new building uh, and landlord registration ordinances available for your review. Thank you. Okay.